Hi hi, Genki Call here with Bounty for the weekend of September 17th, 2021. If you don't know how to maximize your points for Bounty, head down to the description below and check out the link I put there. I explain exactly what you need to do to get the most out of your Bounty points. So there's a multiplier here and to get the biggest bonus, I explain how to do that. But the most important thing you need to know is that you have to have the bounty captain with you. The bounty captain is worth the most points and having it ascended to mythic is going to get you the absolute moist, most points you can get. This time the Naga trap is our, um, our bounty captain. And I have to say, <coughs> does it have to be Naga? And the answer is, it doesn't have to be Naga, but it sure does help. So there's a 25% chance to devour an enemy, but there's a 50% chance to devour if they're Naga. Otherwise, it's going to deal 37 damage. Um, you must have your bounty troops uh, traded with the first trait. The second and third don't matter um, unless you want to have those traits, but bounty hunter is what you need to get the most out of the points. So, I have bought the first five tiers and then I used an Orb of Ascension to get my Naga Trap to Mythic because I can, I've been told that I can finish buying five tiers, I can get all of the rewards, but just with the Bounty Captain at Legendary, but I'm not willing to do it because that means more grinding and I hate the grinding. So, no thank you. No thank you. <sighs> So here's what I have. I am using the Ogress, who is going to pull herself to the front. I'm just leaving her at the front. Stun the first enemy, then explode one random gem boosted by my life with a 10 to, t to 1 ratio. I have her blowing up 10 at once, um, whereas my eldest is blowing up 4 at a time. So it really depends on um, your life. And um, let me show you, she has skull damage reduction by 50%, which is why I have her in the front. She also summons a fortress gate if she dies. But something else I need to tell you is that because I hate bounty, I am actually using two medals of Nysha and a medal of seasons. I'm only using the medal of seasons to get a little bit more out of Ogress to blow things up. Otherwise I would be using my badge in here because I don't like bounty it's such a grind but but the rewards are very very nice if you go all the way up here and check it out major orb of chaos gems gold arcanes Ooh, new title carnivorous ah two major orbs Ooh, shiny all right so let's go ahead and go back in here next up i have the naga trap and i already told you what it does bounty hunter Poison enemies when doing skull damage gain one life on four plus gem matches. The reason I have the Naga Trap here in the second position is because if it devours, it becomes a secondary tank. So if I lose Ogress, I still have, well, I'll have the Fortress Gate up there, but then I'll also have the Naga Trap to help me, um, protect me from skull damage. The Tagraki Warrior is one that I use pretty much every bounty. It does true damage to an enemy boosted by their armor and it has skull damage reduction blah 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 rift links does true damage as well without a bonus though tagraki warrior is a lot more useful but you can't use two tagraki warriors believe me i've tried but you can't get the 30x multiplier if you do that anyway going to do some true damage knock them to the last position and then it can't be targeted by spells which is nice one magic for each red ally so that's two there's two of them here and here's my um my tactics here's what i'm doing so if you end up using skulls on this first troop here that's the one you're going to want to cast the naga trap on because if you damage the armor to Gracky warrior is not going to do as much damage to them um and so you you really want to cast with Tigraki Warrior. I go after Cobra first because it, it summons. And um, I'm actually just going to completely take him out so he's out of the equation. This guy here, he... Um, wait a minute, is that the right one? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nope, that's not the right one. Okay, cool. Um, 
so none of them have uh, their their armor really damaged at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and cast the Naga Trap on. It doesn't really matter. I'll take the one with the most. This one. Ooh, nice, nice. I like it. I actually devoured. Woohoo! And actually, that 50% is hitting pretty nicely. Now, I've just lost my traits on these two troops. You can see they're stunned by these X's and the little swirly thing here, um, which means I'm not getting this. I will still get this. That's not a problem. But skull damage reduction is gone, and so is the summon fortress gate. So, uh, let's see. We want to take some brown. We'll blow things up. Kapow! Well... This one has a slightly damaged armor, but I'm going to cast with Tigraki Warrior first. And it didn't devour, so I'm going to go ahead and use some skulls. Skulls. Woohoo! And we'll try. We'll try this. Oh, it worked. <laughs> Yay! That easily could have not worked, and that would have meant less damage when I cast with Tigraki Warrior. But here's what I've got for you. If you finish all 20 of these... Um, with the 30x multiplier, you will earn through reward 15. So let's collect that, and that will get you one vault key, 75 gems. Come on. 75 gems, 17 gem keys, 30 diamonds, 5,600 souls, 92,000 gold. Always nice. Some trait stones, some arc, um, five runics. Um, five arcanes, three orbs of chaos, and a portrait of a Venus flytrap. Not this Venus flytrap, though. This is a different one uh, whose name I can't remember right now. So let's see. Good luck to me. Good luck. 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 Woo! <laughs> well, I got an orb of ascension, and that is great. That outweighs the orb of growth. Even if I had gotten two orbs of growth, it would have been worth it for the orb of ascension. Because I just spent an orb of ascension getting the uh, the Naga trap up. So, anyway, if you just finish through level 20, then that's what you will get. Now, you can repeat any level. You can repeat level 3 over and over again if you want. You can do level 9, but the point is, you want to be sure and win your battles. If you get to level 11 and you're doing fine and you can't complete level 12, just stay at level 11 um, because you don't get those points if you don't win. So don't waste your sigils. Just do what's comfortable for you. I, I know that I'm higher level and it's easier for me because of my higher level and my power level and my Nisha medals is making it all easier for me. I know this looks easy, but I used to struggle just like you. If you're lower level and you're struggling, I understand, really. I used to be there, so I do understand. Um, and there is another option I can tell you about while I am sitting here um, trying to kill a Val Raven before it flies away. Um, and that is that um, if you want to, Make sure that you have the bounty captain with you. Make sure you have two other bounty troops fully ascended, if possible, um, for the biggest multiplier you can get. And take your weapon with you. That is an option. It will go much faster. And you may end up having to buy more sigils. I don't know what level you buy to to, um, to be able to have... The bounty captain, two bounty troops, fully ascended, and a weapon. I don't know how many sigils you'll need, because I've never tried it. But it is also a possibility, so keep that in mind. You don't have to be tied to using all bounty troops if it's just too uncomfortable for you. I know it's a grind. I know it sucks. But I know. Believe me. I know. And it's why I don't really enjoy bounty, but I sure do like the rewards. It's, you know, this time it's not so bad. It's not a terrible bounty captain. We have had some really not fun bounty captains in the past. And the fact that this guy devours sometimes, that makes it fun to me. So, 
Uh, <laughs> I really enjoyed the Devour graphic. I think it's really fun. And it, it's always a thrill to get to Devour something because it's really funny to me. So, um, plus, they're gone. Just like that. Gone. Love that. Aw, I was hoping. That's alright. I wasted the spell, but that's alright. I took a chance and it didn't pay off. So, we're gonna go this. Next time I have... Uh, the Naga Trap up, I will go for that first troop because the armor is already damaged. So actually, I'm going to go for this one. And whoops, let's damage that armor a little more. And yes, by damaging the damaging them, that means I'm getting less out of it when I devour them. And I'm okay with that because it means Tagraki Warrior is going to hit harder if um, um, for the other troops because they'll still have their armor. And Tagraki Warrior is really the star of the show. Now, um, you know what? I think I will come up with a second team for people that are bored with the same old thing. Um, and so let me work on that in just a minute here. Hadn't thought about it, but we can do that. We can totally, totally do that. Um, there is another troop that's really good, and the nice thing about coming up with a secondary team is that it won't matter. I won't be using the true damage troops, I won't be using Tigraki, so it w means that you can cast on whomever you want with the Naga Trap. So let me grab this team code real quickly here. I need to go and paste it elsewhere. Ta -da! Got it! Oh, I really, really, I gotta say, I've never seen Little Shop of Horrors, but that Feed Me song, I'm obsessed. I can't stop listening to it. It's so good. It, it just really makes me laugh every time I hear it, and I don't know why. It's so good. Okay, so do a search for Bounty. Let me see. Corpse Mare is always nice. Corpse Mare is, is another true damage one that can work as a tank. Um, but we're not doing true damage. We're going to do something else. And there's one here. Is it this one? It th this is the one. So half main. If the enemy's attack is greater, deal dum double damage. So And it starts with 75% mana. So let's throw this in here. We have to thro uh, keep the Naga Trap. And then... What else is going to hit hard? Let me see. What do I have meddled? Sister of Nightmares? Uh, she can inflict um, lycanthropy, which kind of sucks, but she does start with 75% mana, and she does hit two enemies. So I might throw her in there. No mana blocks. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six. So all of the colors are there. Which one would I put a minus on? Maybe just do a plus plus green on the banner. Ah, and I should mention something. While we're speaking of the class, which we weren't exactly and yet we are. The class doesn't matter. Kind of. So you will not get any class experience for the bounty ba battles, which is one of the things I don't like about it no class experience but if you don't have all of your class weapons yet find one that you want to get the class weapon for and it will count towards your 250 wins just having it equipped you don't have to have your um you don't have to have your hero with you you just have to have the um the class equipped so keep that in mind no class experience but it will go towards your class weapon if you need them so Let's try this out. Let's see how it works. I have no idea. I haven't tried it. Obviously, I just came up with it while we were sitting here talking. So, rather while I was talking, because I talk a lot. <laughs> oh, let's do this. And more brown. Whee! Sister of Nightmares. Kapow! And we're going to go... Oh, let's see. Attack greater. I can't go after these guys. I can't because they have a zero attack now. So be sure you don't ever go after something with this troop, the half main. Um, 
<laughs> if they're entangled. So you want to get that double damage if at all possible. So I'm going to go after this guy because he had the most. That was some nice damage, by the way. And we'll blow things up. And I'm going to... I'm going to try to devour this guy. Nope. And we'll go after this guy again. Wah. Oh, his attack wasn't higher. I wasn't paying attention. Ah, I just assumed that his attack would be higher than mine. And I need to not assume things. So I will do better this time. We're going to try for Cobra again. Wah. And his attack is higher. Going to go for Cobra again. I don't want him to... Um, don't want him to summon anything, so. Alright, I'm gonna take the skulls. And this is definitely. Ooh! Ah! I moved it the wrong direction! I hate it when I do that! Okay, let's cast with Sister of Nightmares. Hey, there was a kill. We'll do this. Alright, let's see if he'll devour. Nope! This is not my time not his time to shine rather uh, I'm gonna do this just because I can yay let's try that one more time and I should copy that maybe see if I get a devour it's going to be you know it's gonna look a whole lot better so I need to copy this elsewhere and put that right oh you stupid thing all right I'll put it there the program's not uh, agreeing with me right now. So I'm gonna, oh, Valraven. Er, don't wanna lose the Valraven. So, only 25% chance to devour um, non-Naga. So I really wanna cast the Naga trap on a Naga. And I'm gonna go for Cobra because, yay! We got what I was looking for, excellent. Blow this up. I'm more worried about the Val Raven than anything else right now. Do that. I want to blow things up. Get the and the attack is higher than mine, so I'll get the double damage with the half main here. Boop. Whee! All right. Devour. No. Sister of Nightmares. I gave them a match four. Ah! Oh, I need to pay more attention. Whoops. All right. <laughs> now this guy doesn't have an attack higher than mine, so I'm not going to get that mileage that I am getting with this guy. But the nice thing is, if you're lower level, all of them are going to be higher attack than you are. So the half main is probably going to be a good troop to, for you to use if you decide not to go true damage. So I think both of these teams are working. Um, I'm going to switch back to the other one. I, I don't know why, but I'm going to... Where did I paste it? There it is. Aha! Aha ha ha! I'm going to put it back. Whoops. Okay. So this is fun. You can switch it out, um, and you can play with things. Just trying to give you some ideas here. So I'm going to do one more battle, and then I'll end this video so that y'all have a chance to see it before you start. And then... I may... I may, I may do another video tomorrow on it. I don't know. I'm definitely not going to finish it tonight because it is 1.30 in the morning and I'm hoping to get some sleep tonight. So, Cobra, 76 damage. Woohoo! All right. Uh, oh, I wanted that purple. Uh, we'll do that. Oops. Good thing I've got skull damage reduction. Cobra gone. Whee! No more Cobra. And kapow! Oh yes, um, I'll... Ch -ch 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 actually, I'm going to do Rift Lynx. Rift Lynx is going to hit this one and knock it to the back. And so I'm thinking we cast on this guy at the end here because if it didn't devour, it would have damaged the armor and then... Um, then we could have just dealt with him when we got to him, when he got up to the front. Okay, finishing up, finishing up, whoop whoop, gonna finish up, oh look at all the yellow, good thing there are no Val Ravens on the screen. Let's try this one, I know I could finish off the other guy, but I was hoping for a devour, because it's fun. 
It's fun to take out the ones that are the highest if you can. <laughs> Alright. Oh. oh, you couldn't have died from that. Here, we'll do this. <laughs> What's this guy do? Oh, he creates red gems, so he's helping me. He can just stay here as long as he wants. Uh -huh. Oh well, we'll kill him instead. <laughs> I just said he could stay, but I couldn't pass up the skulls. Alright, that is it from me for Bounty for the night. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope it, I hope it was helpful. Remember to check out that link in the description below if you have any questions about how to get the most points out of Bounty. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye!